Okay, let us now go over the program that uh, draws the arrow. Uh, so the first two lines is basically including the headers. Uh, then this section depicts uh, the connections that are made between other fruit hazard module and MCP4922. Uh, then there are pin definitions. Uh, the CS pin enables uh, MCP4922. Uh, and LDAC pin synchronizes the outputs between uh, outputs of uh, channel A and channel B of uh, MCP4922. Uh, pin laser is controlling the laser, turning it on and off. Uh, now the definition of the laser frame, think about it as a screenshot. Basically it's a collection of uh, points X and Y uh, that need to be drawn. Uh, we have a few uh, frames like that. Uh, the original frame here is uh, basically a horizontal arrow. Uh, and we will later go over how we produce it. Uh, then there are two frames uh, uh, like this and they used uh, both by the main loop and by the uh, timer interrupter uh, timer interrupt routine. Uh, so the main loop uh, prepares one of the frames while the interrupt routine actually draws the other one using the laser. And when the main loop uh, is done with the, the first frame, it basically just switches the frames around and the interrupt routine starts to draw the other frame. And you know, this process just repeats all over, all the time. Uh, here we see that there is a lookup table for the cosine and sine functions uh, using integer arithmetic uh, just so that everything just is fast enough. Uh, the setup routine. Uh, so we set up the pins um, and uh, the SPI uh, communication. Um, we see that the frequency here is 20 megahertz. Uh, for optimization, we preset the data bits of the SPI uh, and then uh, we uh, set up the uh, cosine and sine lookup tables. Here we uh, prepare the original frame, uh, that horizontal arrow I was talking about. Uh, then we enable the timer. Uh, so uh, every uh, of uh, 25,000 times uh, per second, this procedure is going to be called. Uh, and the final line in the setup routine is turning on the laser. Uh, what does the timer ISR do? Um, it basically just jumps from one point to another uh, of the frame, of the current frame, and uh, gets its coordinates uh, x and y and then calls the function setDAC that uh, basically just uh, uh, gets those positions and sends them directly right to the galvanometer. Uh, for the main loop uh, it does the following. Uh, it prepares uh, the hidden frame uh, and for that it just basically takes the original frame and uh, rotates all, it, all of its points uh, by a preset angle. Uh, when it's done with that it just switches the frames around and updates the angle. Uh, basically increments it by uh, 5 degrees uh, and if the angle goes over 360 degrees it returns it back into the range. Uh, finally, the delay of 27 milliseconds is necessary so that uh, the arrow uh, is rotating uh, nicely and smoothly, not too fast. Okay, after that there are some support uh, routines. Uh, basically, one is uh, setting up the lookup tables. Uh, it's basically just basic trigonometry, uh, as well as the rotate point uh, routine. 
that's also basic trigonometry. Uh, now the setup original frame uh, is basically a sequence of loops that just go over coordinates x and y and draw an arrow like that. And there is really not much to it. But I guess it's very important to get all the coordinates correctly, otherwise you would have a, a crooked arrow or something. Okay, and finally that there are some um, uh, support functions for the uh, digital analog converter. Uh, there are some optimizations for speed, uh, direct uh, register manipulation. Uh, you can just copy and paste these uh, sections and uh, they will just work. Uh, when we are set, uh, basically one of the main functions is uh, the set DAC um, function that takes uh, the values for channel 1 and channel uh, 2. It basically prepares the data that is sent over SPI uh, to uh, MCP4922. Uh, first for channel 1, uh, then for channel 2. And when it, once it's done, it's uh, cycling the LDAC pin. And at that moment, MCP4922 is updating uh, its outputs to those values done those things go directly to the galvanometer oh well that's it and uh, uh, feel free to e experiment with this program uh, make it better uh, uh, maybe turn and turn the laser on and off whenever you want to um, basically the world is your oyster <laughs>